Hello, everybody. Uh, I'm Filip uh, Zajac. I'm user experience uh, designer from Slovakia. Hi, I'm Martin Cetkowski, and uh, I'm software for Kai from Czech Republic. Uh, we both uh, live in Brno, where we meet. And uh, we are going to talk about uh, skeleton-based type design. Uh, and what have, what have we done in this topic and how it could influence uh, type, type design in future. Uh, how many of you are uh, type designers here? Hands up, please. Oh, that many. Uh, and, uh, how many of you have tried or heard about uh, skeleton-based type design? Cool. Um, for those who haven't, uh, you might heard about uh, Gerrit Nordzai book who uh, described the theory of stroke. And this influenced me when I was uh, working on my uh, type design experiments uh, during my studies. And uh, um, he described that uh, every letter shape consists of a skeleton and uh, nip based on its shape, uh, rotation and width. Um, every typeface um, must leverage those fundamentals, right? Uh, unless uh, it leverages something else like uh, outlines. And there's actually a way how we design or create uh, fonts uh, nowadays is uh, created by uh, outlines. And the theory of stroke uh, reminds uh, somewhere inside the shape or big, in big round. Uh, as just as a theory. And uh, however, I see many of us <laughs> will uh, uh, benefit uh, of chains uh, to define letter shapes by stroke and uh, using some something some tools which uh, which helps you to to create uh, shapes by stroke and until now there wasn't a tool that really truly supported and uh, we we decided to create this tool two two years ago uh, yeah, <coughs> and uh, today we are announcing that uh, we have a first uh, member of the lettering family. The plugin of four graves are almost ready for a preview. And uh, it works like um, that you first draw a skeleton. <coughs> Next, you switch to our tool and uh, customize the nib width and rotation, and the outlines are previewed for you. And uh, not only that you can alter the width and rotation for each node you think about. You can add more nodes on the skeleton if you want. And uh, when you are OK with the settings, <coughs> you can switch to the outline and fi fine tune it uh, whenever you want. And hopefully, you will get satisfied after a while. And, uh, get your final shape of your letter. I think that's a, the brilliant reason, I think, right? <laughs> uh, we see this as a, as a basement, and, uh, but we know that uh, there are some additional features that could uh, help working with uh, skeletons in the future, especially uh, for type designers where uh, we work in figures of m many letter shapes on, and working through more many glyphs. And uh, one of those we see is a global preset, something like masters for skeletons and uh, for nips, uh, which could help to uh, keep consistency uh, of skeletons ac across many glyphs through font. And another one 
is for creative people who who would like to um, express more ideas by by their own uh, uh, nips or brushes, let's say, in this in this case. And you can go really wild with it. And the uh, last thing is. Uh, um, the skeletal interpolation, uh, where where we see really potential <laughs> in using it for the future, and I'm um, and I'm excited to talk about about it with you afterwards or after the speech. Okay, that was great, teams, and uh, we have something for you. We already sent uh, our first preview of the plugin to our Kinbakers from last year. And in the following weeks, we are spreading it uh, across our beta list subscribers. So it's great time to go to letteringapp.com and uh, join the list so you catch uh, the next wave. And hands up who isn't registered now. Not much. Uh, <laughs> not much, so. <laughs> Everyone's there. <laughs> Everybody, the rest of you will receive the email in the few, uh, upcoming weeks. And uh, I see on you, on you, in your eyes uh, that you have plenty of questions and, <laughs> and hints uh, on it. So uh, let's switch to Q&A. Hey, does, uh, does anybody have any questions? Oh, OK. okay. Is your tool intended as a plug-in into other editors, or is your tool a uh, um, standalone? Uh, uh, this tool is, uh, the first one part is uh, going to the glyphs, like uh, first wave. And when we, when we are ready and uh, stabilize it, uh, we are considering other tools as well. It's just... Uh, abstract of things, we, if the tool is, up, is uh, able to get us what we need, like uh, more, more handles and so on, we can plug in, or if it's not, we, m we need to create our interface. We're also thinking a standalone tool for type designers or for lettering guys. So uh, the concept is uh, quite generic, and uh, it's just about uh, implementation and purpose and what the people need. So we can alter it. Any other questions? You showed uh, using a, a skeleton, and then once you were happy, you converted it to outlines and started fiddling with the outlines. Does that mean the skeleton has been lost? So it's not an edit list, it's a destructive step. I've now lost my skeleton and I can't go back and fiddle with it some more. Or do I get an edit list so I, those edits are applied if I change the skeleton? I yeah, understand uh, that uh, this time the skeleton is going to be lost, but we are finding a way uh, with Georg and uh, how, to, how to persist it so you can return back to it. It's, uh, it's on a wish list, but now uh, we had uh, some difficulties in the, what the glyphs currently support. So we are going to meet Georg and think about it, how to get it done the right way. Any other questions? OK. Uh, Eben, you, is Eben around? Has he disappeared? Eben was going to show us where we're going next. But he's not here, so I'm sure we'll I'm sure we'll find our way. Right, thank you.